Well, there was high school football on Thursday. Bluefield hosting Taswell. Beavers will get the ball first opening drive. They move downfield quickly. Mookie Collier starting left, able to find space and get by several would-be tacklers. He finds the end zone with a touchdown run. Bluefield leads 7-0. Taswell's first drive. Jameer Blevins looking down the far sideline. It's caught by Trey Thompson for a first down well inside Beaver territory. But that ensuing series on fourth down. Blevins pass over the middle is intercepted by Collier. He'd return the ball inside the red zone. Bluefield later scores on a Truck Edwards touchdown run, 14 to nothing. On a later Bluefield drive, Chandler Cooper back to pass, but his throw was intercepted by Lucas Honaker. He would return the ball into Bluefield territory, and the ensuing Bulldog drive would continue into the second quarter. On fourth down, Derek Young finding a hole on the right side for a touchdown. That makes it a 14-6 ball game, but the Beavers answer on their next drive. Truck Edwards with a carry up the middle, cutting to his left and breaking multiple would-be tacklers. He's gone for a touchdown as Bluefield gets the win at home, 62-27, to and the Beavers are now 5-0. and High school girls soccer on Thursday. Pikeview hosting Shady Spring. First half, Lady Tigers with momentum on offense. Brooke Scarborough with the ball in the box. She finds a teammate in Izzy Pack, whose shot is going to be just off target. But that momentum would continue in the first half. Emily Stevens able to get past several defenders. She takes a shot from distance, but it is saved by Sarah Stamper. Pikeview also with chances on offense. Crystal Wyrick with a through ball that finds Arid O'Sullivan. She finds herself with plenty of space to try a shot from distance. However, that shot would be saved by Kelly Bills. And then just over 10 minutes into the game, Sydney Moneypenny on the right side of the box. She's able to maneuver past defenders and score the opening goal of the game as Shady Spring would take a 1-0 lead. But the Lady Panthers with a chance to respond quickly. Sullivan on the left side brings it toward goal. Her shot will be saved by Mills, but then later in the first half, Money Penny receiving a pass from Josie Kulacerto. Her shot finds the back of that. Shady Spring takes a two to nothing lead. That'd be the score at halftime, and the Lady Tigers win on the road. Final score four to nothing.